Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting question from radical equations. The given equation is x equal to 11 plus a square root of 5x minus 56 over x minus 13 times x minus 14. And we have to find real solutions only. So let's get started by writing our denominator cannot be 0. So I can write x cannot be 13 and x cannot be 14. Now let us take this 11 to the LHS. So I can write x minus 11 equal to square root of I will write 5x and 56 I will split as 55 and 1. So it would be negative 55 negative 1 for minus 56. Denominator x minus 11 minus 2 this is x minus 13 x minus 11 minus 3 this is x minus 14 bracket. Now I can write equation as x minus 11 equal to 5 times x minus 11 minus 1 over x minus 11 minus 2 times x minus 11 minus 3. Now you can see x minus 11, x minus 11 everywhere we are having. So we can replace x minus 11 with y. So let us write x minus 11 equal to y. So y cannot be equal to 2 for 13, for x 13, for x 14, 3. So I can write our equation y equal to square root 5y minus 1 over y minus 2 times y minus 3. Now y is not equal to 2 and not equal to 3. So I will consider squaring and cross multiplication. So I can write our equation y square equal to 5y minus 1 over y minus 2 and y minus 3. Now cross multiply y square times y minus 2 times y minus 3 equal to 5y minus 1. Let's simplify LHS. So I will be writing here y square minus 5y plus 6. RHS is 5y minus 1. Further, I can simplify and write y power 4 minus 5y cube plus 6y square minus 5y plus 1 equal to 0. Now, y cannot be equal to 0 as x is not satisfying 11. So, I can divide this equation by y square. Let's divide. Now I can write y square minus 5y plus 6 minus 5 over y plus 1 over y square equal to 0. Now I will consider first and last term all together, second and second last all together. So I can write y square plus 1 over y square then I will take minus 5 common. So in bracket y plus 1 over y. And then we have 6 which I will write 4 plus 2 equal to 0. Now this 2 I will take to this bracket. So I can write y square plus 1 over y square plus 2. Then minus 5 times y plus 1 over y plus 4 equal to 0. Here I can write it is y plus 1 over y whole square. y square plus 1 over y square plus 2 times y times 1 over y. So it would be 2. Minus 5 y plus 1 over y plus 4 equal to 0. So this is one quadratic equation in y plus 1 over y. 
So let us apply quadratic formula for the value of y plus 1 over y. Let us apply minus b. So minus of minus 5 plus 5 plus minus under the root of b square minus 5 square 25 minus 4ac minus 16 divided by 2 times 1 so 2. Now it would be 5 plus minus square root 9 over 2. Now square root 9 is 3. So I will be writing 5 plus minus 3 over 2. So with plus sign it will be 8 over 2 with minus sign 2 over 2. And this is equal to y plus 1 over y. So we can write y plus 1 over y will be 4 and 1. So from here I can write two equations. y plus 1 over y equal to 1 and y plus 1 over y equal to 4. Let us solve both one by one. So I will write here y plus 1 over y equal to 1. y plus 1 over y equal to 4. Remember x minus 11 was y. Now I will multiply both sides by y. So I will write y square minus y plus 1 equal to 0 quadratic equation and here y square minus 4y plus 1 equal to 0. So if I will check discriminant only for the first quadratic then it would be minus 1 square so 1 minus 4 times a times c. So it is 1 minus 4 which is minus 3. Discriminant is negative it will generate complex solutions. So rejected. Now come to second quadratic equation. I will write y equal to minus b so 4 plus minus under the root b square minus 4 square 16 minus 4ac minus 4 over 2a so 2. So I can write 4 plus minus square root 12 over 2. I can write 4 plus minus 2 root 3 over 2. So after dividing by 2, I can write 2 plus minus root 3. And this is equal to y. So y was our substitution x minus 11. So I can write x minus 11 equal to 2 plus minus root 3. Add 11 to both sides. So I will be getting x equal to 13 plus minus root 3. This is our final solution. Both are real value. Let us cross examine whether it will satisfy our equation or not. How it will be using some basics of radicals and domain. So I will write here equation as x minus 11 equal to the square root of 5x minus 56 over x minus 13 times x minus 14. Now few points we can generate from here. Left hand side should be positive. This radicant should be positive. So first condition which I can write here it is x should be greater than 11. Second point, this radicant 5x minus 56 over x minus 13 times x minus 14 should be greater than 0. Let us consider sign convention. So I will write here critical points 13, 14 and 56 over 5, slightly more than 11 it is. So I will write this way. Now 5x minus 56, x minus 13 and let me write here x minus 14. So once x is greater than 56 by 5, then our top bracket would be 
positive. So I will be writing here positive sign. But before that, it would be negative, means uh, before this point. X minus 13. X minus 14. Now you can see where we are getting positive. So this interval, our answer should be in the interval of 56 by 5 to 13 or it should be in the interval of greater than 11. So I will write x should lie 56 by 5 is 11.2. Either it should be in this interval or x should be greater than 14. So if I will write our answers solution then it was 13 plus root 3 and 13 minus root 3. 13 plus root 3 will be 14.732 which will lie here and 13 minus root 3 will be 11.268 which will lie here. So both solutions are true and valid and this brings the end of the video. Do not forget friends to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.